There was a scripture that he pulled about the bewitching and the fear that they put on you guys. Right. In the bewitching, they instill fear in you. Because there's a video that he put where he asked his men to explain what is the hour of temptation. Y'all brother saw that? Okay. Where he was saying that the hour of temptation is when the microchip is being distributed. There's no scripture that says that in the entire Bible. When you look up the hour, anytime an hour is speaking in the scriptures of something to happen, what does it go into? Who knows? In one hour, it speaks about what? Destruction. Look up everything that speaks about an hour coming. We're in that hour when the destruction is going to happen. We're going to be in temptation, wondering if we're going to be taken or not, based on our righteousness when we were on this earth. But he got his men explaining one by one, because he, he commands them all like zombies to do videos. And his explanation for that hour of temptation that Christ spoke about, where he said that he'll watch over us, is that, that you're going to be faced with the option of you got to take the chip. Are aiming at several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant RFID chip to be implanted under your skin. <laughs> you see how stupid that is? But because he has those men like zombies and fear, and in fear, they're listening to him. Exactly. So you're going to have a lot of people that's going to agree to, to take that microchip and uh, eventually it will become mandatory as we've been saying for years. We here at Great Millstone been saying this since we got on YouTube and even before we got on YouTube. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you something. If you can see it. This is the chip right here. That's the chip. That's an actual chip. Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So read it again. To receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. So read it again. Our constitutional journey did not stop then, and it must not stop now, Judge. And we'll be faced with equally consequential decisions in the 21st century. Can a microscopic tag be implanted in a person's body to track his every movement? There's actual discussion about that. You will rule on that. Mark my words before your tenure is over. Earlier this year, more than 100 employees at a Swedish company called Epicenter got microchips implanted in their hands, saying it streamlines office life. And as with most new technologies, it has raised some privacy and security issues. While biologically safe, the data generated by the chips can show how often an employee comes to work or what they buy. Unlike company swipe cards or smartphones, which can generate the same data, a person cannot easily separate themselves from the chip. Using ID badges at work may become a thing of the past, and microchip implants may become the future. So what if I get the chip in my left butt cheek? What happens then? <laughs> they gotta scan my butt. <laughs> Welcome, Detective Nathaniel Ray. You running around, yup, 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 about some foolish chip stuff? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Don't go out there and turn this into no God, wor no uh, worshiping of Baal by worshiping herbs and fruits and vegetables, man. You got a home remedy? Get down and do it. You want to drink some teas or you got something your grandmama used to do? Check with your doctor first. Make sure it's no abomination you eat. And then, you, yeah, you can do that. I think it's foolish if you turn around and don't take no vaccine. Been such fools for the idea of the microchip being the mark of the beast. You've been such so blind to it. You were so easily fooled. All somebody had to do is say the microchip is the way you get the, is it's how you get the mark of the beast. You put that chip in you, that's your forehead in your hand. It's ridiculous, man. It is absolutely the ridiculous. You think God cares that you put a microchip in your body? You think God cares that you put a microchip in your body? You think God cares? You think God cares? You think God cares? You think God cares? You got a microchip on your phone, a microchip in everything that you have. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. And with him, the false prophet. The Lord said the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet. God. 
that wrought miracles before him. That wrought miracles before him. The false prophet represents their false church system. Right, go ahead. With which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. And though he deceived those that received the mark of the beast, meaning he deceived them with religion and philosophy and doctrine. So that's why I said, they false doctrine is going to be taken and they deceived them that received the mark of the beast. I mentioned some, John 3.16 is the mark of the beast. Right? That's the mark of the beast. That's the ph having that philosophy in your mind. It's not no damn chip. I mentioned some, John 3.16 is the mark of the beast. Right? That's the mark of the beast. That's the ph having that philosophy in your mind. It's not no damn chip. Right? It's not no damn microchip. That's sensationalism. Right? It's philosophy. It's having a, the, the, uh, uh, the doctrines and the ways of this society in your mind. John 3.16 is a form of the mark of the beast. Uh, aiming at several central banks have, like the Bank of England, already prepared their microchip implant RFID chip to be implanted under your skin. I know my husband is not vaccinating people and putting a microchip in her arm because that technology doesn't even exist and he's never uttered the words out of his mouth. So <laughs> we in June ain't no microchips. It's June.